All right, let's talk about movies and ZBrush. Uh, up here at the top of the menu, you see there's a movie menu. And we'll go ahead and move this to the side. We're just going to be in there for a minute. And right at the top, you'll see there's a load movie button. Uh, you can record a movie, uh, either a turntable, as you'll see down here, you can do a turntable, a snapshot, you can do a time lapse of you sculpting, or you can record the entire screen and do kind of a demonstration type thing. Um, so once you do that, you can actually save that out as a Z movie, and it's only going to be a file that ZBrush can read. And it's not going to be like an exported MOV file, which we're going to create, but um, you can save Z movies in here. So if you have a Z movie saved, you can load it right here. Uh, again, we're going to record our turntable for this demonstration, but you can also do time lapses of you sculpting. Uh, or recording yourself doing demonstrations. Uh, under here, you'll see we have doc selected, and that's where we're gonna that's gonna record just inside what the document is. Um, if you have window selected, this is when you want to have uh, you're doing demonstrations and stuff. But we're just gonna be recording a turntable, so we just wanted to record uh, the document uh, where it says large, medium, and small. The best way to explain this, uh, basically, it's gonna take your document size and it's gonna half it if you have this selected, and that's under this modifier. You'll see it's at 0.5. So make that large is going to put it to 1, and small is going to put it at 0.25. Um, the reason why you would want to do this is it's going to give you nice anti-alias lines. Um, so with the dock at medium, what that's going to do, if you go down here and you do anti-alias half, this is what your actual uh, end movie result is going to look like. It's going to be nice and anti-alias, but it's going to be small. Uh, so to get the actual output size of your movie correct, what you need to do is, underneath your document menu, Make the document double what your output movie is going to be, and then have medium selected, so it renders it out aliased. Uh, for example, if you want to do a 1080p movie, uh, make your document size 1920 by 1080 in here, and then hit double, so you get double that, and then record your movie, and then with this medium selected, so you'll get a nice 1080p movie, but it's aliased. Otherwise, it's going to be actual, and you'll get kind of crunchy lines. So, let's keep that in mind. Uh, this stuff is for recording... Uh, not turntables, but just kind of recording yourself. So we're going to skip all that. Cursor size, we're going to put this down to zero because we're recording a turntable and I don't want my cursor in there. Uh, but if you are doing a demonstration, you probably want to uh, keep that up. Uh, spin frames, let's do 50 for this demonstration. Uh, spin cycles, I'll keep it one. Uh, the quality default set at four, intensity is at seven, and colors at seven. Uh, this isn't your um, compression. That, gets, that uh, comes in later when we export our movie. So this is just the ZBrush quality. Uh, overlay image. Uh, you can bring in an overlay image. It'll actually be a, a little semi-transparent image down there. Uh, you can bring in your own logo. You can use ZBrush logo. Or if you don't want a logo, you can make its opacity from 0.25 down to zero. And title. Uh, ZBrush will actually create a title card for you. And again, you can bring in your own title image or you can use ZBrushes. Um, you can fade into this. Or if you don't want to, you can put that down to zero. You can fade out down to zero. And then you won't have a title image. Uh, but if you did, you know, keep these up. And you can also have text. There's uh, text boxes you can type into for your title card. But I don't want a title card for my movie. So I'm going to move these down to zero. Uh, Turntable Plus is a plug-in. That's kind of cool. Um, you can position your camera in your document and then hit Start. And it'll actually start from that point. Uh, you can move around your object and hit Mid. And then you hit Stop where you want the uh, camera to stop. So you can actually zoom in on his face in the midpoint. And then you can stop on his ankles if you want to. Um, and that's in Turntable Plus. We're just going to do a simple turntable. So uh, we're not going to touch any of that stuff. So we've got our guy over here. And he's a pretty heavy guy. He's sitting at about 800 meg right now. Uh, so my computer's kind of chugging along as I capture here. Um, to see where our guy actually is in our document, go over here to zoom and kind of zoom out. And you'll see he's kind of small in the frame. So go ahead and uh, beef him up just a bit. So as we turn, um, he stays within the frame, but he's a little larger. So we'll go ahead and snap him to the front. And we've got our movie settings just the way we want. And I'm going to hit turntable. Uh, when I hit turntable, you'll see him kind of uh, move in a circle as it's capturing. I'm actually going to stop capturing while I do that, and I'll be right back. I just don't want to tax my computer too much while I do this. It might uh, pick up. Okay, we're back. Uh, we've got our captured movie. And as you can see on here, you now have a delete button uh, available to you. So you have a movie in there, and if you figured, if you found out, oh, he left the screen while he was turning and all that jazz, uh, you can go ahead and delete it and do it again. Uh, as well as, if you have a movie already in there ready to go, you can go up here to Save As and save that out as a ZBrush movie, which you can load in later. Or, uh, right on top of that movie you just made, uh, say you wanted to do a naked version of him and tag it on to the end of this one, 
Uh, if I go to, and hit turntable again, it's not going to record over that movie. It's going to append it. So what's going to happen is uh, it'll be a turnaround of him with his armor on, and then it's going to be a turnaround of him. It's going to pop to a turnaround of him with no armor on. Uh, I'm not going to do that for this demonstration, but just be, av uh, just be aware that that is available to you um, if you'd like to do that. Uh, that way you don't have to go into uh, an editing program to append another movie. Um, so we've got our movie turned around ready to go. And what we're going to do, so people, other people can see it, we're going to go export. And we'll just export it in here as test movie. That's fine. And I'll bring up our export options, which I'll drag in here. You can choose any number of codecs in here. Uh, we'll just stick with photo JPEG. Here's your color depth. Uh, you can make it least low, medium, high, and best. We'll just stick with high. Uh, you've also got even more options depending on the codec. But uh, this is fine, so we'll hit OK. And there, it just exported our movie. And I'm going to go grab it, navigate it to that folder, and I'll double click this test movie. That's going to bring up. Here's a QuickTime movie file of the turnaround. And if I play that, it's playing a little bit chunky because I'm capturing it while I'm playing it. But uh, that's our 50 frames uh, turnaround. So you can go in here and you can scrub and. Uh, Send that out to people, and that's totally awesome. Uh, so that's a really quick demonstration on how to do movies in ZBrush. And again, just keep in mind that if you uh, have your final uh, output movie size, make sure you double it, and then anti-alias half in that dock, make it medium uh, to get the best results.